الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن واله أما بعد all praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we send peace and blessing upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to my dear brothers and sisters in Islam subhanallah so today I came across this verse very beautiful verse very interesting verse from the Quran surah al-tahreem when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara so when I recite this verse when I read the verse then something blew my mind, subhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calling the believers to save themselves from the hellfire. Qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started with yourself. Qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. Save yourself from the hellfire. Now, if we look at it in our generation, in this life that we live in nowadays, you know, I find it so hard to even talk about this verse. I'm going to be honest with you. The way we live in our lives nowadays, it is very hard and difficult. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warning us here and telling us the importance of saving yourself from the hellfire. Because when it comes to the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one can take it. Now let's take our time and ponder on this ayah, on this verse here. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qu anfusakum, start it with yourself. Save yourself from the hellfire. Now, how do we save ourselves from the hellfire? Of course, obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pray your five daily prayers. Fast the month of Ramadan. If you are qualified to give zakah, then you give zakah or charity. If you also have the chance to visit Mecca, you go for hajj. So these are the five pillars of Islam. Basically, you know, we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do the right thing to save ourselves from the hellfire. But to be honest with you, after when I read this ayah, this verse, and realizing that the way we live our lives now and things that we do to each other it will be hard for some of us to even make it to jannah Allah does not the wish you know all of us we wish to make it to jannah without no question to make it to jannah straight away but it will be so hard to make it to jannah because of the things that we do to one another to each other you know, we're thinking that when we fulfill the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will make it to Jannah even though we destroy one another. We cannot make it to Jannah this way, brothers and sisters in Islam. We destroy one another. People are fighting. People are backbiting each other. Subhanallah. Like when something happened between two married people, husband and wife, the husband's side, the wife's side, Everyone, the families are creating their own stories to add it on it. It's like basically you're adding gasoline on the fire. you destroying someone's father. you destroying someone's son. you destroying someone's husband. you destroying someone's uncle, someone's aunt, someone's mother, someone's sister, someone's daughter. Today in our society, in our communities, all we care about, ask yourself, did you even spend one minute or even 10 minutes 30 minutes, one hour, without talking about someone else. Billah alayka, please ask yourself this question. Did you spend even a moment without talking about someone? On the phone, we're talking about someone. When we sit together, we're talking about someone. We're backbiting someone. We're spoiling someone. We're putting someone down. We're looking down on someone. We're destroying one another. Nowadays, all we want to hear is someone has a problem. Instead of solving the problem, we will add more fuel on the fire. And nowadays, your family members, your relative, people that you trust, people that you're dying for, they are the ones that will go out there and spoil your name. They are the ones who will destroy you. They will talk about you. They will backbite you. They will say so many things against you. Even what you're saying, if it is reality is the truth, you're still backbiting the person. What's the point? The Sahaba, they were there defending one another, having each other's back. They don't backbite each other. They don't spoil each other. But nowadays, that we destroy ourselves in the society. So ask yourself, what's the point talking bad thing about someone? Whenever we see someone trying to elevate himself, someone working so hard, trying to achieve the next level, we always drag him down. Instead of supporting him to go up or supporting her, we always drag them down. And we're thinking that Allah will save us from hellfire by destroying others. We're jealous of one another. We even doing black magic to one another. Subhanallah, I'm so happy. For someone to come to me to talk about one of my brothers or one of my friends or one of my relatives. 
When someone trying to achieve their goals, we don't support them. We destroy them as a family. We destroy them as a community. We destroy them as a friends. Subhanallah, someone called me. Not called, but someone sent me a message. I'm not going to mention names. And the person say that I have been married to someone. Then we got divorced. So when we got divorced, now I'm trying to move on with my life. I'm trying to get married. It could be male or female, you know, girl or boy or like man or woman. I'm trying to move on with my life. I'm trying to get married to somewhere else. But this other person, my ex-partner, going around, you know, spoiling my name, telling people that do not get married to this person. Subhanallah. Why are you doing that? What will you benefit from that? We don't care about our success. We care about putting people down. All we care about nowadays is destroying one another. What will you benefit from that? Going around spoiling the person. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't make it possible, you two got divorced, then khalas, let it be. She or he can marry to someone else and you can marry to someone else. But do not go out there destroying that person. Did you forget about the verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned when he said, Wala tansawul fawla baynakum. Do not forget. Yesterday was good. Yesterday was perfect. You have like so many beautiful moments together. So do not forget that. And by destroying your brother or your sister, you won't benefit nothing from that. Wallahi, you should stand there, defend your brother or defend your sister. When someone come to you talking bad things about them, do not listen to them. Try to defend them. Tell the brother or the sister, you know what? I don't want to talk about it. I'm not in this with you. And try to advise the person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu jitanibu kathiran min al-dhan, inna ba'da al-dhan al-ithm. And he said, wala tajassasu. So all we do is some people, like, all they're waiting for is someone to call them and tell them about someone's problems. That's all they're waiting for. Nowadays, when we wake up from our sleep, instead of being busy, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the reason why we don't even recite the Quran anymore, the reason why we don't do Qiyamul Layl anymore is because of our cell phones. We trying to find information. We looking on status everywhere, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, everywhere. We sharing videos. And sometimes you see couples when they fight, instead of keeping it to themselves, they will go out there and spread it, insulting one another, you know, on social media, on status, talking about each other. What kind of Islam are you practicing? Who is your Lord? Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask you to do that? Allah said, we have to learn to forgive one another. We have to learn to cover one another. We should not destroy and expose one another. Even your brother, your sister, they did something wrong. At the end of the day, they are human. Try to know that. Put yourself into their shoes. What will happen to you? How will you feel if someone is out there talking about you? Someone is out there destroying your name. Someone is out there destroying your image. Will you like it? And you will see sometimes, I say, mother, you're sitting there, you're talking about someone's son. Wallahi, if that were your son, you will never ever talk about him. Even if they do something wrong, you will try to cover them. They are your son, they are your kids, they are your children. But when it comes to someone or someone else's daughter, you can talk about them. You're destroying them. You're calling them names. And in front of them, you're laughing, you're smiling, you're acting like mashallah, tabarakallah, you love them to the sky. Don't fool yourself, my brother, my sister. You know, in our homes, all we do is talking about other people. You call someone, oh, did you know what happened today? Man, this guy, this girl, this boy, man, you don't know them. This is what they do. You know, okay, now let me show you know, his messages. Let me show you her messages. You know, listen to her, listen to him. Achi. Wallahi, what are you doing? You enjoy it while you're doing it. You know, you feel so happy while you're doing it. But know that Yawm al Qiyamah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is waiting for you, Yawm al Qiyamah. Allah will not forgive you for, for, for that sin. The sin between you and human beings, the sin between you and other people, Allah will not forgive you for that sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave you there to solve it with those people. And Yawm al Qiyamah, guess what? No one will have that mindset to forgive you, Yawm al Qiyamah. Because everybody on that day thinking about themselves and they need more and more reward to enter Jannah. So no one will forgive you. Ask yourself, am I saving myself from the hellfire or I'm doing the opposite? I'm even pushing myself to enter hellfire. Because all we do today is about people. Every single day, ask yourself this question. 
Now is another brand new day. When you wake up from your sleep, ask yourself this question. What am I trying to do today? What is my goal for today? What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want from me? How do I get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why am I talking about someone? Why am I even listening to someone that telling me about someone's problems? What's the point? What will I gain from that? And before you go to bed, bring your scale and weigh your, your good deeds and your bad deeds. What did I do? How many times did I recite Quran? Did I pray my five daily prayers? Did I do something enough to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or did I talk about people? Or did I destroy someone? Or did I reveal someone's secret to someone? Or did I expose someone? So be careful. Ask yourself these questions. Then you will know the answer before you go to bed. And the saddest thing is, whenever you talk about someone, the more you talk about them, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will elevate them. And the more you talk about them, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put you down. The more you talk about them, the more they will get ahead of you. The more you talk about them, the more you're creating more sin for yourself. So be careful. You have to be very careful. Allahi nowadays, all the things that I mentioned here, it's hard to escape from it. Talking about others, backbiting, destroying others, insulting others, you know, posting about people, forwarding messages. You go to someone trying to get information, you know, they, you know, they trust you, they send you some messages, audios, and you forward it to someone. Now you're destroying that beautiful relationship between them. We're trying to interfere to people's life, their personal lives. We're trying to know about them. We're posting about people. We're insulting someone. We're disrespecting someone. The only reason why we're doing this, most of us, we forget about Akhirah. We forget that Yawm al Qiyamah, Allah will come and ask you. And some people, when they have advantage over you, you won't survive. They will destroy you. They will insult you. They will say anything to you that they don't care if it is good or bad because you're surviving under them. Allahi, thumma wallah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to be nice to people. He used to respect people. He used to do a lot of good things to people. He never destroyed anyone. He never exposed anyone. He never insulted anyone. So if you're learning from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you're practicing your religion from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then all these things that we mentioned, if you are doing one of them, stop it today. Stop it right there. If not, it will be hard for you to make it to Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts to love other people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala soften our hearts so we can love other people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us, protect our mouth, our tongue from backbiting, from talking bad about other people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us Jannah al Firdaus al May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to save one another, not to destroy one another. Anything that I said was good, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anything that I said was bad, it's from myself and Shaytan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me for that. Hadha wa Allah ta'ala a'la wa a'lam. Wa salli la wa sallim ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.